Hey guys, I'm Akilan and today I will be talking to you about my project which is creating an interface for the ELISA based system. ELISA Enzyme linked immunosorbin assay is a biochemical analysis that is important for diagnosing and monitoring many diseases. Traditional ELISA systems are both expensive and bulky, which makes it fairly inaccessible for the average person to use, thus requiring a patient to go into a lab to obtain test results. A proposed solution to this issue is a mo mobile-based ELISA system, which addresses the production costs and inaccessibility. Melissa is relatively light. When in it just one pound, it has the same steps as any other ELISA system and test results can be accessed using your cell phone. Not to mention, production cost is just under $35. To test this solution, the, production, the project focused on measuring progesterone levels since there are not many systems in known literature that measure hormone levels. The project was divided into three components those being the housing of the system, which was done using 3D printing, the pump rate, and creating an interface to measure the reaction temperature. You may have already seen the other two parts of this project. My task was to create an interface for the Melissa using an Arduino microcontroller to monitor the temperature since most ELISA reactions take place at 35 degrees Celsius. For the purposes of this video, I will demonstrate a temperature reading using the Arduino microcontroller. This was created using a temperature sensor, jumper wires, a breadboard, an LCD screen, a potential meter, which has three terminal resistors, and a rotating contact that was used to adjust the resolution of the LCD screen, as well as my laptop to power it. In addition to this, the Arduino IDE software is used to write the codes and connect to the microcontroller to read off the temperature readings on the LCD screen. To test this, I place a microcontroller and sensor system in an environment with a known temperature. In this case, 71 degrees Fahrenheit is used to verify the temperatures senses accuracy in detecting the temperature of the environment it was placed in. If the LCD screen showed a different temperature, then that was an indication that either the coding was wrong or the sensor was not accurately detecting the temperature of the environment. This is the coding that was used to power the microcontroller. This project is far from finished. For future work, all the components will need to be combined to test its effectiveness and determine if any changes must be made before it can be commercially available. Moreover, I would like to thank Asani and Dr. Pyatt for giving me an opportunity to work on this project and guiding me along the way in learning the coding and wiring of the Arduino. I will also like to thank my friend Victor for assisting me with this video and giving me feedback I'm preparing for it. Thanks for watching.